Hi, my name is China, and today I will show you a new trick for the five times tables. So, let's start it. So, let's start with some of the easy numbers like 13, make up bigger, times 5. So, you take the bigger number, which is 13, and then you do that if you're doing it on paper and just like partition it into two equal or very close to equal groups since 13 can't be equal equal and it ha and it can't be half so it has to be 7 and 6 make 13 right so um you take the smaller number or if it's even then you take any one of the numbers which is like in this case it's six and then you just go like that and then you place it right here for now because that's going to be part of your answer so and look at the number 13 again 13 is an odd number right so if it's odd number then you put a five there, along with the six, next to the six. So the answer is 65. Let's go on to a harder number, like 45. So times five. So 45 is the bigger number, right? So same thing, you partition it, so it's going to be 23 and 22, and then you take the smaller number, in this case it's 22, and then you take it and go here. So this is going to be the um, hundreds place, and this is going to be the tens place, because you have to look at the number 45 again, and then you see that it's a odd number, right? So you do number 5 over here. So the answer is 225. So let's go with a bigger number. How about even number? So Big even number times 5. So let's do 122. So 122 times 5. So 122 can be broken down into um, 61 and 61. So, and then you take any one, any one which you prefer, just take any one, 61, and then just do it like that and place it, and it's going to be the tens and the hundreds. And then you take 122, it's an even number, right? But don't, but this is a place, like, don't make a mistake on this because even though this is a two, you don't put a two here. If, if it's an even number, then you put a zero, so the answer is 610. And so, let's give you another example. It's gonna be an even number, so. 204 times five. You go like, partition it into two equal groups, which is um, 102, and 102. You take either one of those 102s and then you get it over here. So, and you're not using any of the leftover numbers, so, so don't use this one. So, in this case, it's gonna be thousands, hundreds, and um, tens. So, um, so like, 
you get 24 and you like is an even number right so even though it's a four you don't put a four you put a zero because it's an even number so the answer is a thousand and twenty this can work with any number so I did this because I wanted to help young kids and grown-ups to learn like new techniques for math so it could make it easier for most people to like think about like how to solve five times tables. So I just wanted to help the people in the world and so yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.